Well, good morning, guys and gals. This is Auto Tech. So, welcome back for day three of this not so epic adventure. We're in Seattle, Washington right now, if you're just joining. Um, and for those of you that have been watching the series so far, uh, that kind of sucks that the battery died on me there last night. I was really disappointed about that because I was super excited to um, get that, like, just chill cruise in, you know. You ride all day, get to a place at a decent time, and then, uh, you know, it gives you time to play around, basically. So I was really not happy about that, but, um, you know, I guess that sort of stuff happens. I should have had the batteries in my top case. I ended up uh, like missing a turn and uh, getting like semi lost on my way back from Alki Beach there last night. I jumped onto the I-5 like I usually do and then instead of taking the I-90 exit, I was like, oh, I'll go all the way to um, the 520 bridge. It's a toll bridge, but it's got some good views and stuff like that. I always enjoy going over that. And then, uh, so I was just cruising on the 5. And uh, then suddenly, like, I don't know what it was, it was a leader bike of some sort, just blows the mirrors off this bike. Like, he came blowing by me, probably well into the, like, 200s. And um, he, like, jumps into the express lane, and he's just ripping. And I was like, oh, man, like, you know, this must be, like, you know, a good, good section. So I, you know, reached forward, lowered the windscreen down, and you know, dropped down a couple of gears, and went the speed limit, and uh, you know, I followed him into this um, uh, like toll lane thing or express lane thing. I had never taken that one before, but usually, like when you're taking these these lanes, you can jump off before your exit. So I was like, okay, perfect. So I jump in there and we're ripping and it's going under these tunnels and it's like super cool. And then I noticed like on the other side of the like barrier it shows like the 520 exit and I was like, huh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> so I ended up blowing like right by the 520 and, I was, and, and it like still kept going for like another quite a few kilometers and I was like, crap. So eventually it ends. And I'm like way past it. And I was like, oh man, like now what do I do? And then I saw this one, it was like Lakeview Drive or Lakeview Avenue or something like that. And it said that it went east. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that'll link up with the 405. Yeah, it did eventually. I'm like, my God, did that ever take a long time though? Because it like wound all the way like up around like some sort of like peninsula thing or not a peninsula but you know whatever it just went through like all these neighborhoods and uh, it's uh, you know it was just like super slow going and so it took me an hour and a half to get back from Alki Beach <laughs> when it's usually like a 20 minute go oh man so it would appear that uh, going this way is um, against the traffic as you can see we're actually getting a really early start today uh, just because um, my phone didn't change the time again if you were watching day two so I ended up getting up at 4 a.m. here you know 5 a.m. my time like I usually do and then uh, I was just kind of like screw it whatever I didn't really want to go back to bed because you know I hate when you go back to bed for an hour and then you're like more tired than you were so I uh, walked to the gas station, just got coffee, uh, got another pack of smokes, just kind of top me up since this will be the end of my American journey soon. And uh, then yeah, I just put the bags together and got out. It's going to be a warm one today, so um, I managed to stuff that adventure crap into the left saddlebag where I was keeping my cowboy boots and jeans. Um, so now that uh, I've got that, uh, I'm going to be a little bit more comfortable, and uh, yeah, uh, that'll be good. So express toll lane. Yeah, I think this is what we want. 
I am just about at the number five, and then from there, uh, I think my next stop will probably be like Bellingham, uh, just to get my passport into my jackets, and then make our way to Sumas. From there, uh, I'm going to be in um, uh, Vancouver quite early, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just a touch over two hours from there, uh, if I remember correctly, and then, um, so that would put me to 8 a.m. their time, <laughs> so uh, that's all right. So children, youngins, if you look at that, that's why you should get out of bed before 10 in the morning, because you get a lot, a lot of good scenery when it's sunups and sundowns kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know, it'll show off on the camera, but you kind of got like the the dew or like the mist, you know, where the air is thick in the morning, starting to burn off, you know, you got the sun coming up over the mountains, it, it's just excellent, and uh, you know, you also get a lot more done when you're not sleeping in until like 10 in the morning, and that kind of, the message kind of applies to a certain angry ginger I know. <laughs> Oh man, he's probably still in bed. He will be for the next like two hours and it's 7.30 my time. <laughs> well, all right there everybody. Welcome to Bellingham, Washington. I am I just took the exit to, uh, I think it was 5.39 or something like that. It heads straight north to the Linden border crossing. I haven't gone this way before, but um, I gotta get to Surrey. BC, so I think that the Delta crossing will be a lot better than, um, you know, like that. I think it's called the Peace Bridge or something. Yeah. Next stop will be the Canadian border. On the side note, I keep forgetting to check in the settings for this thing if I can switch it over to miles per hour. Um, you know, because, like, you get a lot of, like, the trucks and cars and stuff like that these days. You just, you know, since they're all digital, you just literally go into the settings, and then you just click Imperial, and then there, there you go, you're done. So I was kind of wondering if this thing did it, but uh, the problem is, is when I'm going, like, I can't, this, this home button, it won't work. So i got to be, like, stationary or something like that, or in neutral or whatever. So i got to remember to check that out, and just in case comment below and be like did you figure it out just in case I forget and then I'll just be like oh yeah that's right <laughs> just past the uh, border wait sign and it says less than five minutes so that's pretty good for the Linden crossing then I hate oh man uh, I can't remember what trip it was I was with the angry ginger and like, oh my God, we were coming across at Sumas. And I think it was like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And it was like mid 20 degrees out. And we were just sitting there on the Harleys. And it was like, oh my God, like just dying. Like I, ah, I wish there was a way that, uh, you know, you could just kind of like bypass that on a bike. Because it's, it's one thing to be sitting there in a car or something like that and have your AC going and you're like, oh, this sucks. So you like play on your phone for a little bit. But when you're just sitting there in the sun, it's like, oh man, this is terrible. I remember uh, for that cross Canada trip, yeah, cross Canada trip, I think it was uh, the crossing going into North Dakota. I was like, 10 or 11 cars back and uh, somebody like came out and they were like you on the bike and I pointed at me and I was like oh no <laughs> I was like oh man did they see me smoking because I had my helmet up and I was just having a cigarette while I was sitting there waiting and then they're like come over here and then I go to like that second thing and they just they're like yeah we'll get you out of here quicker and I was like oh right on <laughs> showed them a passport told them where I was going and I was off to the races so that was pretty cool. So we're at the border now. I may or may not have uh, a couple more packs of smokes, you know, per se, than what you're supposed to. <laughs> uh, you know, the limit is 10 packs, you know, and I'm, I'm like super close to that number. So it's not like I'm like 20 packs or something like that. So, 
do I just say a few packs? Like when they're like, oh, you're bringing anything back? Yeah, a few packs of smokes. Like, or do I say like, yes, the exact number that you're allowed? And then they'll be like, all right, pull over there. I think what I'll do is I'll be like, yeah, I got a few packs. And then uh, if they're like, how many exactly? Then I'll just be like, the exact number you're allowed. And then uh, you don't you don't get charged. I've had stuff taken away before. Yeah, like you don't get like charged or anything like that. You just get uh, like you, either you pay the duties or they fuck, they throw them in the garbage. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off because cameras are a no-no. Well, you play game. Eventually, your luck runs out. But not for me today. <laughs> he did ask how many though, because I was just like, yeah, a few packs of smokes, and then I got like. You know, 20, 30 bucks worth of stuff from uh, Harley Davidson. And he's like, now by few, how many do you mean? And I was just like, eight. He's like, all right, cool, man. Carry on. Like, Whew. <laughs> now, I'm going to one or one or two. Not hurting anybody. It's not like I'm selling them. It's for myself. It's for my own enjoyment. So, and I mean, this is all hypothetical talk. Like, I might not, um exactly have done that it could just be a theory <laughs> zero avenue so i guess this is where the avenues start <laughs> and then they just count up from there no i'm just kidding why not just call it avenue then just yeah yeah i live on avenue which one avenue uh okay yeah, it, yeah it's good <laughs> So now I am going to go into Langley and then I think it's called the Fraser Highway and I will uh, just cut across to Surrey from there. So my, today, today's going to be pretty chill because uh, once I get to Surrey, that's pretty well the end of the, um, like the journey today. And then from there, uh, I'll do some cruising around. Um, I don't know what time. Uh, Road Rash can meet up or if he can't meet up until tomorrow morning or whatever. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out. So he said he was doing like graveyard shifts, uh, yet he was like commenting on my Instagram yesterday at like 3 p.m. So I don't know if he was getting up and going to work or what he was doing there. But uh, yeah, we'll figure something out. So I have never taken this uh, Fraser Highway in before. So that's kind of cool. Uh, basically, yeah, it just goes through like Langley and then I think it like kind of like just kind of dips around Langley. I don't think there's a red light camera, so we'll keep going. Um, yeah, so it kind of just like gets gets around Langley and then uh, goes like straight into Surrey. Now, I mean, obviously if you're coming in from the west or the east, you know, you just stay on highway number one and carry on but uh for coming from the border this way seems to be all right i would imagine with all these lights though it would not be a good time if there was traffic uh which what time is it here it's yeah, it's like eight something here or so morning rush hour should be at a close i hope <laughs> so i am sure this way is much quicker if you don't miss the turn I didn't have the GPS going and uh, I just like kind of went straight into like Langley City Center and it was like oops so then I turned the GPS on and I was like all right so it's time to get more serious and start paying attention <laughs> so I guess that's what happens when you choose not to wear your waterproof gear that's how it goes right like nothing is forecasted anywhere it's supposed to be a beautiful day so you go through the hassle of packing it all in your saddlebag, you know, and it's not even like rain gear where you can just like quickly rip it on, you know, you gotta like strip right down to your underwear and like put it on. <laughs> and then you're like 20 minutes from your destination and it starts raining. As long as it stays like this and as long as I keep moving, my legs and my phone and stuff like that are gonna stay dry. It's the stops because then it can actually start to just land on my phone. And I'm more so concerned just about the fact that I've got the charger plugged in. I don't really care. The phone itself is, I think, water resistant. So that's not a huge deal. But, uh, yeah, that's just, it just goes to show how that uh, works. And before anyone says, 
But it's the West Coast, the only thing you can count on is rain. <laughs> Take that, fold it up real nice, spit on it, and stuff it somewhere special. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I know it rains out here. That's why I've got waterproof stuff with me. I'm just not currently wearing it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on with the batteries on these things, like the ones that uh, were my backup batteries must just be uh, like no good anymore because I'm already getting that low battery warning and uh, like it's barely even been three hours. So that's kind of frustrating. So this uh, definitely won't make it all the way to uh, Surrey, like where I'm going, unfortunately. Um, so. Yeah, I think this video is going to have to come to a close pretty quick here. But it's also only going to be a little bit of traffic like this. And then, you know, we're only like 10 minutes from Surrey anyways. This time, I will make sure to have extra batteries in my top case for when I'm out cruising around just in case they die. Then I don't have to worry about uh, missing out on footage for when I'm riding around Vancouver. So... As always, if you're new to this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for taking the time and watching.